What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we will be having a look at this product ingredient section right here. It does come with a bunch of really nice features. One of them is that if you click on one of the ingredients right here it will start this little slideshow. It's fully customizable that means all the colors and images and texts are changeable and you're not even going to need a developer for that. I'm going to show you how you can get this for your very own store. The first thing I did for that was that I had it on over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app. Section store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And even after you installed one of our sections, you can still delete the app and still remain with the section fully working in your store. So it's not going to slow your store down or whatsoever. So I think that's a pretty nice benefit of that. And we will focus on the product ingredient section today. It is going to be that one. Like I said already, app itself is completely free. A few of our sections though do come with a little charge. This one does come with a charge of $9. Also means if you bought it once, you will own it forever. No subscription or whatsoever. You will not need a developer. And at the end of the day, it's a big time saver and also a nice conversion maker because this one is definitely a nice improvement for your design of the website. So yeah, after successfully getting that section for your store, you head back to the My Sections area of the app itself where you can find a collection of all the sections you already own and there you want to add it to the theme you're using in my case it's the dawn live theme i've already added it so i can just open it up right here in the theme editor i've also opened up this one already that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video and i'll show you real quick how you could add it completely from scratch just go down to add sections type in ss product section store product ingredient and the one we got is the product ingredients 2. So the default version would look something like that. You get a bunch of default items already and it would hover on those already. And I'll just get rid of that one. And that is just the main look of the default. I just wanted to give you a little feel of what you're going to end up with if you get this in the first place. And now I want to show you how you could add another block to all those. So as you can see here, if you add another ingredient, it will instantly pop up right here. And here, instead of mystical herb, we're going to do cannabis herb. And we're just going to leave the text for this one. And we can select an image as well. Let's see if we can find a nice one. I'll just use one I already did. So I'll just chuck this one in right here. And if we're going to click on cannabis herb that is the one we're gonna get and all the other ones are working perfectly fine as well slider is working good too and yeah that is pretty much how i added all of those so here you can see it as well and now i want to do some general changes to the section itself so if i click on the main block itself you can see right here i could change the text of it so we could do superfood ingredients and it's gonna get updated live straight away we can change all the padding scaps you can see in that right here the text fonts are changeable too if we want to do that the sizes as well and also the positioning of all that but i'm just gonna go over this really quickly because i don't want to waste any of your time and at the end of the day you want to customize that to your likings and your brand guidelines so i just want you to get a little overview and feel for the section itself another thing i want to show you is that it's fully responsive so if i click on that we definitely optimize this one for mobile as well and you can either click on those or just swipe through so it is made mobile first optimized for every smartphone switch back to that and yeah just gonna go over this really quickly we can select a little link we want to have to all that just gonna do a really random one it's just a test of mine to show you new sections and yeah bunch of other stuff you can do right here i just go down real quick to show you that another thing we could do is show those arrows on mobile as well so that would make it maybe a bit easier but i think the swipe comes in quite intuitively and yeah that is the last part of the section where you can customize all the colors I'll just switch back to desktop again. Um, just going to give you a quick example. So if I would want to change the background color of the button, I could do that right here. And also the, the hover color. So if I would want to have that in the brown tone, that is super easily done. 
So that is working perfectly fine. And all the card backgrounds and other stuff as well. For example, the section background. I'm just gonna copy this because I do like this color. So if I would wanna have it in gray, I could do that too. And yeah, here's some general paddings, lazy load. So it's also loading those images faster if it actually gets accessed and it's not gonna slow down your site. So yeah, let's have a final look in the test store with the small changes we did. So scroll all the way down and yeah, there we have it. As you can see here, we changed the text here and also added another one to our collection, the cannabis herb right here. And that button is also working perfectly fine, linking to one of our test products right here. And that was pretty much it. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.